Dexter Season 6 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you weren't caught up to the point where I am and rewatching or watching Dexter, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode title, which of course I'll mention, as well as put in the description for you if that happens to be the case so you're not caught up. It would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be Dexter Season 6, Episode 2. The title of this episode is called Once Upon a Time. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. We start off with Dexter giving Harrison a bubble bath because, well, everything is good with a bubble bath. And I remember bubble baths when I was like two to six years old. I enjoyed them as well. And then Dexter tells Harrison a bedtime story. And the star of this story was Little Chino, a callback to season two of Dexter. And then Harrison mentions Daddy's Box. Travis Marshall and Geller, 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 are planning something. Quinn ends up proposing to Deb. She asks, are you fucking serious? Are you fucking insane, actually? And Deb, of course, needs some time to think about it. There's no drama right now, Deb tells Dexter, sarcastically. Masuka shows the viral video of Deb uh, at the, the bar uh, to some of the staff, including the great Soderquist. How would that station run without Soderquist always being in the background? Brother Shanae... I can't talk again. Brother Sam shows up at the station. He's a former killer turned religious man. And Brother Sam is questioned by Batista regarding his ex-employee Omar found dead. And Brother Sam says Omar did not have this coming and that his demons were gone. Tom Matthews is making Deb Homicide's new lieutenant if she accepts. Fuck balls, he's serious. She'll be Masuka's boss. Get HR on the line quickly here. <laughs> what the fuck is going on today, Deb says. And then Deb comes over to Dexter's and tells him the good news. Quinn calls again. What the fuck does he want? Dexter mentions maybe an answer. And then Deb realizes she forgot all about Quinn's proposal. Maybe deep down, she still thinks of Anton being the love of her life. I know I mentioned before that I wasn't going to say that line anymore about Anton, but I couldn't resist here. Um, Travis Marshall ends up sneaking up on a lady uh, who turns out to be his sister. She actually pretty startles her. And then Dexter dings his car and goes to see Brother Sam. Brother Sam says he fights the darkness every day. Masuka shows Ryan, the new intern, uh, the ropes around the station. Deb wants to buy Batista a cup of coffee. And then Deb breaks the news to Batista that Matthews has offered her the position to be the new lieutenant of homicide. Uh, but she can only take the position with his blessing. And Batista actually does give Deb his blessing. Because he knows deep down that Deb has always been a good cop. La Guerta talks to Batista about the news that she just heard. She says Morgan is barely out of diapers, and then Batista tells her, Don't do that. Deb's a good detective. Better than Maria ever was, or better than she ever was. He says Matthews, she, she, Matthews hates her, and he's always uh, the one paying the price for that. Dexter is following Brother Sam Hallelujah, he's not a changed man after all, as it appears that he's killed a man by putting him uh, in the truck. Uh, a dog goes after Dexter, but Brother Sam intervenes. But, oh, wait, Brother Sam didn't kill anybody. Uh, he's still a good shepherd. Uh, and then a gang shows up at the shop for Nick, the one that Dexter thought Brother Sam had killed. Uh, Sam mentions Dexter doesn't fight like no lab geek. Um... Geller thinks Travis wants to hurt him. Uh, he's mad that Travis went to see his sister and he's essentially punishing himself for it now. Deb tells Quinn no. Quinn tells Deb he wants her out when he returns. Deb is living back with Dexter uh, just to help Jamie out when you can. What happened to so... Ah, I'm not even going to go there. LaGuerta yells at Matthews about promoting Deb. LaGuerta announces Deb as the new lieutenant, youngest one ever. 
Uh, Dexter has Julio, the one that went to the garage on his table, or this actually was a barber shop chair. Uh, Dexter kills Julio because monsters don't get to live happily ever after. Another bath for Harrison. Good thing about the mind of a two-year-old, it's easily distracted. Travis Marshall has a sprained his ankle on a run, and a good Samaritan tries to help, but he's knocked out by a rock by Travis. So he was just faking an injury to get somebody's attention. Only wolves in Harrison's life will be stuff of fairy tales from now on, as uh, that's the way this story has a happy ending. And that is the end of this episode. So... <sighs> Season 6 of Dexter is not one of my favorites. This episode had some good moments, I will say that. Uh, Deb getting promoted to Lieutenant was pretty epic, although not really expected. I'm going to score the episode a 7.3 out of 10. I know it's low, but I just don't like Season 6 after the premiere. Um, Deb is the character of the episode for the females. Batista, I think, deserves the character of the episode for the males, although you could argue possibly... Matthews, Brother Sam, Quinn, but I think Batista edges them out. And we have a villain in this episode, Julio. He wasn't really much of a factor, but I mean, he tried to ambush Brother Sam at the garage. I'm going to give him a 2.7 out of 10. So you've heard what I have to say. Now, of course, it is your turn. If you're a fan of Dexter or Dexter New Blood or anything Dexter related and want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, please consider smashing that like button. You can go ahead and share this video with whomever you want or put this video on any of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Dexter. What would you score it? Whom would be your character of the episode, male and female? Uh, favorite moment if you have one? Uh, anything else you got? And of course, last but certainly not least, you're watching the video, so don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.